What's up, party people? This is kind of a weird angle. Is it weird? I don't know. Anyways, so here we are, eight months pregnant, about to have this baby. And your girl has actually been feeling a lot more energetic lately. So I've been to Goodwill like two or three times and all of this stuff has been sitting in these bags waiting for me to show you. Now, listen, there was a couple of things that I didn't know if I'd shown you before. I'd like stuffed them back in the bag, taking them back. I actually had to go watch my last Goodwill haul video to see what I've shown you and what I haven't. We've got our friend Damien here for moral support. You can't really see him right now, but he's here just chilling. And we're gonna go through these bags and see what I got. And I'm sorry that I'm so out of breath, but it's just part of being pregnant. We have got like not that much time left. I'm 33 weeks. So yeah, first I'm going to show you a couple of things that I actually did not buy. My friend Stacy found these at Goodwill and got them for me. Before I go any further, if you love Stone Cold Steve Austin, I have linked this shirt on my like to know it and yeah if you need it i totally understand i got this to probably wear to the hospital to have the baby so i know it's super exciting <laughs> let's see here what we got here oh wait one second okay i i don't even know if this is the same angle that i was shooting in a second ago but i had quite the scare I was like stopping the video to do like pictures or whatever with the bags before I unloaded them. And I filmed that whole last part in slow-mo and had to figure out how to fix it. So moving on, let's look at these clothes. So what I was saying is the first part, these are not things that I bought for myself, but things that my friend Stacy found for me. And they are absolutely perfect for me. This one's a little different but I think it's gonna be super cute. So this is a Wild Fable Target brand little velvet dress. How cute is this? Love it. Wonderful Goodwill find. You know, I love Target. I love to shop there, but when you're able to find these like cute staple pieces for like, I don't know, a third of the price, it just makes it that much better. You know what I mean? And then this, I think I would have bought this for myself if I'd seen it, but like, I don't know. And I'm so glad to have it because I think it is so adorable. It's a little Hello Kitty cardigan with cherries on it. Now I'm not typically like a yellow girl, but I feel like I can make this work with the right makeup, some red lipstick. I just think it is so cute and I'm so happy to have it. Thanks Stacey. Whew. Okay, so, oh, there's one bag missing. Hold on. This is the most recent stuff that I got, and I want to show you this first just because I want to. So, I haven't really had a diaper bag, and everyone I've shown this diaper bag to, they're like, oh my god, like, that's the cutest diaper bag I've ever seen. Like, I was not able to find anything like that. Well, this isn't really a diaper bag, but I think it's going to be perfect. So, um, I can't remember the brand. And this is like almost brand new. It's called Piper Noble. And check out the sides. They zip up if you want, or you can open them for more storage and it has a leopard print. And then it's got these pockets on the front. And then the inside is full of the clothes that I got <laughs> at Goodwill. But there's so much space. It's got the handles. It's got the strap. I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm super excited about it. It needs a little bit of a cleanup, but other than that, like, it's almost brand new. So I was super excited for this find. So let's go through this stuff first. Um, I did get Bo and some stuff in here too. Um, I will put that to the side. If you guys want baby clothes, hauls or whatever included, let me know. But for the time being, I'll leave that out. So these are kind of like the Lululemon shorts that I showed you all 
in that TikTok slash reel video. And uh, these are a Walmart brand, but I thought they were so cute for like workouts around the house. I probably wouldn't wear these out simply because I got a big butt. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Next up. Ooh, so this to me looks exactly like the Skims bra that I just bought. It's like maybe a dupe of that because it doesn't have any like markings on the inside. But I actually have the Skims one on. Ow, the cat just bit my toe. <laughs> that was rude, Damien. Um, I have the Skims one on right now and it's super comfortable. So hopefully this dupe will do the trick too because it's like super cozy. All right, what else we got? Oh, okay. So I just couldn't leave without this. I don't even really know what I'll wear it with. And I don't know if this is going to do it justice, but I just thought this was beautiful. Now, I do think it's going to be a little small. This is going to be like for after I get back <laughs> in shape, but it's beautiful. This to me looks um, semi-vintage maybe. Um, it doesn't really have any tags on the inside. It's definitely not like a, a Shein piece or anything like that. This says JR Knights by Caliendo. So yeah, it's beautiful. I can't wait to, to figure out how to wear it. But yeah, super excited. And then the last piece, this was from my most recent trip to um, one of the Goodwills in Morgantown. Um, this is just a sheer little button up with leopard print around the collar. I mean, I couldn't leave it behind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Bruiser is upset. Let's check on him. Okay, bruiser is good. Let's move on. Okay, so this is some of my older stuff and I swear I looked back and I don't think I've shown you guys this. If I have, I'm so sorry. But I thought that this was just the most glorious Goodwill find ever. This is one of those that like, you got this for Christmas. You didn't have your own money to buy this in school. You know what I mean? So one of the Victoria's Secret pink um, sequin jackets that were like always way more expensive, but so much cooler. And like when you saw a girl in school wear one, you were like, oh my God, they're so cool. So I had to get it. It was $4.39. So that's gonna be a great little piece to have. Ooh, this is a great little find. And I swear, I don't think I've shown you this. If I have, just fast forward, girl, cause I have, and boys, I've got so much cute stuff to show you. So this, I think is a Shein piece. Yeah, it is. But it's got little marabou feathers at the top. I thought it was so cute. I may have actually worn this when I went to see the Barbie movie, but the matching set I wore was pretty cute. And being pregnant, some things just don't fit right now. Let's see what else we got. Okay, all right. So this is kind of a staple piece um, for the office. I really love like puff sleeves and this is kind of like, you know, pulls in at the waist a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. But I thought this was super cute. Great little black staple piece. We love that for all these little golf outfits I have. Oh, this is cute. This is also kind of office wear. This is a little like, um, zebra print um, turtleneck moment, but it's like super soft, thin material. So I thought that was cute. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, this was like a big leopard print moment that I found. So this is just like an old navy like t-shirt dress. I don't know that this is something I would wear out. This is more something for like me while I'm pregnant, maybe to even wear around the house. I'm a big nightgown girly or like big t-shirts just to hang out to bed. I typically like to wear like satin nightgowns because rolling over in bed pregnant is so hard. So I need that like slick surface, but 
I thought that this was cute and it's also like kind of long. It might look cute to like actually wear out. I don't know, but leopard print, it just has me on in a chokehold, you know? So these, I actually put these back and then I went back and got them. They were only $3.99 and you really can't go wrong with like a leopard print bell bottom. But these were originally from Walmart. I do like these pants, they're super soft. And for three, four bucks, you know, they'll be cozy to wear around the house. Okay, these are some brand new milk storage bags that I found in Goodwill at a lot. And last out of this bag, ooh, yes, I remember this. Oh, that's thirsty. Okay. This is kind of like another sort of vintage goth moment. You just can't really find stuff like this anymore that's just made so well. Like, check that out. It's very velvety. I have some beautiful um, velvet bell bottoms that I've gotten from Killstar that I always am looking for something that matches it and stuff. I just thought this was beautiful. I don't know if it's gonna fit right after baby, but it is always nice to have those like vintage goth pieces in your wardrobe, I think because it's not something that you're going to be able to just buy when you find it, buy it. And like these resale websites, people are always looking for stuff like that. So if you find it, buy it. All right. Ooh. Now this bag is going to be a surprise for both of us. I have no idea what's in here really. <laughs> um, I think that this was on I don't remember which Goodwill trip this is, was at. I'm so sorry. But I found this little top and it's a little small, but it does have a very stretchy back. And I just thought this was adorable. I think I actually found this in like Intimates, but this is like an actual little top. Well, it is to me. <laughs> um, oh, oh, I do remember these. Okay, this is from the Goodwill in Taze Valley. So I don't really know what the original purpose of this right here is, but I know how I will wear it. <laughs> um, it actually looks kind of like it may be something for maternity, but I don't know if you can see, it is very, very long. And it's lace and it splits down the front so that you could wear like leggings or something underneath it, shorts, a skirt, whatever you want to. And you've got this like kind of silhouette kind of thing, see-through, very romantic goth. I absolutely loved it, saw it and was like, that's mine. Okay, a little breaky break. Okay, so sorry. My allergies are like kicking my ass. So just one of those things. Okay, so these are next and I actually have a silver pair of these with a matching top, but I saw these and I had to have them. They're like high waist shorts, can wear them with anything and they're super, super stretchy. I love them, I love my silver pair, so I had to get the black ones for four bucks. It's a great little piece to have in case you're feeling super fancy, you know? Okay, what's next? I kind of sound like a maniac in this video, I'm sorry. Um, so it looks like we've got a few pieces left. So this was just a little bralette that I found. It's a Victoria's Secret one. Um, I love their bras. I love their bralettes, the pink ones. Anyway, I love a lot of their bombshell ones too. And if you buy stuff like this, you know how expensive it is. So to find one pretty much brand new for four bucks, I just had to have it. So yeah, love that. And then last two pieces here. We'll do these real quick. These still have the tags. Oh, these were supposed to be in my um, athletic wear. <laughs> I got these at um, Macy's Backstage, 
which I had never been to before. And I really had to rush through that video because there are such tight time limits on those. But uh, that Macy's backstage was amazing. There were so many killer pieces for like, it was just so discounted. They also had like designer bags in there. They were all locked in cases and stuff, but they had like Valentino bags. It was really, really cool. I would love to go to one again, but this one we went to was in New Jersey and right next door. So the reason that I wanted to go in the first place, it was right near the hotel. And next door there was a Burlington, which we don't have um, really a whole lot of those in West Virginia if any really and um so I wanted to go there the Burlington was terrible but this Macy's backstage place I got like a whole Yogalicious outfit and I got a new um Nine West bag that's like bubblegum pink it was super cute but yeah these are just a staple pair of black leggings for probably after baby I don't think that those are gonna fit right now okay and the last piece from this epic Goodwill haul, which so many staple pieces, so many, like, I love stuff that's versatile and that uh, I can kind of mold into something different all the time with different accessories and different belts. I'm actually here in the studio soon going to be hanging up all my harnesses and stuff. So that will be a cool little video. Um, Right now we're working on the baby's room really hard, but we're gonna finish this room um, soon. Um, I've actually got all my makeup and stuff over here. Let me see if I can move this without, here's all my drinks. But yeah, I've got my makeup set up up here. This is a desk that my mom gave me and we painted it black so that it would match <laughs> everything, including my clothes and all the stuff. But yeah, just a little update for you guys. Here's the last piece. This is a little velvet button up dress. I thought it was super cute. It feels like it might be a little short, but that's okay. That's what uh, pantyhose and underwear are for. Um, but yeah, it was super exciting sharing this with you guys. I love shopping at Goodwill and I love showing you what I got so that I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, if you want to see something specific, let me know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.